I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update, North Las Vegas police arrested a 7-Eleven employee after an incident at the store near Lake Mead and Las Vegas Boulevard. Police say 27-year-old Anthony Wright got into a fight with a homeless man after telling him to leave that store yesterday morning. The employee was stabbed, then ran after the other man and shot him at a bus stop. Officers say Wright used a stolen gun and say he shouldn't have had a gun to begin with. Wright is also charged with attempted murder. The suspect in yesterday's bank shooting and police chase shot his mother. Now that's according to the Clark County District Attorney. William Jackson made his first appearance in court today. The DA says Jackson took his mother at gunpoint to the Navy Federal Credit Union on Spring Mountain and Rainbow and made her withdraw $2,000. He says that Jackson shot her multiple times when she tried to run. Jackson now faces 17 charges, including five counts of attempted murder. He was granted a $300,000 bail. Well, there is a new art sculpture here in the Valley. It's called Spin Baby by Wayne Littlejohn. It celebrates the amazing entertainers of Las Vegas, past and present. The sculpture is on the corner at the intersection of Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., and Frank Sinatra Drives. Let's check in with Danny now. Beautiful Thursday sunshine, temperatures topping out in the upper 50s, low 60s. We do have a bit of a change working into your Thursday evening with increasing wind speed and that chance for rain. I know the weather timeline not showing much of the way of even cloud cover tonight. Uh, the rain chance for the valley is dwindling only about 10 to 20 percent between the hours of 11 p.m. and about 3 a.m. So even if we do get a little rain on the valley floor, most of us will probably be asleep. That storm system exits the region before the morning commute tomorrow, so it looks dry as we head toward the weekend with pleasant conditions temperatures topping out in the upper 50s, low 60s. Danny, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com. And thank you for making 13 Action News part of your day.